Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and to another air fryer recipes video. So in today's video I am going to be sharing my lasagna recipe. Now this recipe is one of our favourites. My kids love it, my husband loves it and I absolutely love it as well. So I'm going to start by showing you how I make my bolognese sauce, then we'll make some white sauce to go with it and then we'll layer up and pop it into our air fryer. Now for today's recipe, I'm actually going to be using these glass dishes that I picked up in Ikea and they fit perfectly in the Ninja Dual Zone air fryer baskets. So I'm so excited to use them. I have two of them here, um, so I'll be using both of them. So let me turn the camera around, show you the ingredients you're going to need so we can get started. So here are all the ingredients you're going to need for this recipe. So I've got over here some lamb mince. I've got around 350 grams. You can use beef or chicken. It's entirely up to you. Then over here, I've got one whole green pepper, one whole yellow pepper and one medium onion that I've pre-chopped just to save me some time. Then of course, you're going to need some lasagna sheets. I've just got these. Then we've got a carton of passata. Any cheese of your choice, I'm going to be using this grated fiery cheese blend. It's a mixture of cheddar and mozzarella. Then I've got some of this seasoning. This is just for mince. You can use any seasoning of your choice. This is what I'm going to use. I find it in my local Asian supermarket, but this is not essential. I just like to add a touch of this for some flavor. I've then got a veggie stock cube. I've got salt, pepper, spray oil and then for seasonings and spices i've got paprika crushed chilies chili powder mixed herbs and oregano so this is everything we're going to need at the moment but when we come to making the white sauce we will need some plain flour some butter and some milk so we'll get to that when we get to that point so i'm going to start by turning the heat on a medium and then i'm going to spray it with some spray oil now add in your lamb mince and at the same time I'm going to add in my chopped onions and now all you want to do is you want to cook these two ingredients together until the mince has turned nice and brown. So I'm going to continue to mix this and cook it on medium heat for around 10 minutes and then I'll come back and show you what it's looking like. So this is what the mince is looking like at the moment, it's been around 10 minutes. So at this point, I can add in my peppers. So now it's time to season. So I'm going to add a little bit of paprika, crushed chilies, chili powder, mixed herbs, some oregano, salt, pepper, and a sprinkle of that seasoning I showed you, about that much. Now continue mixing everything, cook it for a further five minutes. I'm also going to add in just a splash of water. I'm now going to pop in my veggie stock cube and just continue mixing everything together. So I'm just wanting to cook the mince thoroughly before I add in any more ingredients. So just continue cooking this for another five minutes or so. So now I'm going to add in one whole carton of passata and then I'm going to cover this with a lid and simmer it for around 30 minutes. I'll come back after 30 minutes and we'll see where we're at. So this has now been simmering away on low heat for around 30 minutes and I've just turned it off the heat and I'm going to let this cool and we're going to start on the white sauce. So for the white sauce, I'm going to add in some butter, wait for that to melt and then I'm going to add in some plain flour. So add in your flour. I will leave all the measurements in the description box below. So you're just going to take a whisk and mix these two ingredients together. And then I'm gradually going to add in some whole milk. So just a little bit at a time. 
And we're going to continue to do this until this starts to get nice and thick. So this is what the white sauce is looking like and I'm just going to turn this off the heat now. So the bolognese sauce is now done, white sauce is done, so it's time to start layering. So grab yourself a dish and I'm just going to turn the camera around and show you how I do it. So always start with a little bit of bolognese sauce at the bottom. Then add your lasagna sheets. I'm going to do two like that. Then add a little bit of white sauce. I'm just gonna spread it out with a spoon. Add some more of your bolognese sauce. And just continue to do the same process until you get to the top. So I've laid both of them now and I'm just going to finish off by adding some grated cheese. Add as much or as little as you want. Okay, so I have now laid them. They are ready to go into the air fryer. So I'll just move you over there and show you what settings I'm going to be using. Okay guys, so the lasagnas are now ready to be cooked in my air fryer. So I'm going to, I'm going to pop them on the air fryer option. And for the temperature, I'm going to set it at 190 degrees. And for the time, I'm going to set it to 30 minutes, but I am going to come back and check on it um, around 20 minutes in and see how it's doing. So I'll see you then. Okay guys, so I actually left it for the full 30 minutes. So let's see how this lasagna is looking. Look at that sizzle. It looks like it's fully cooked through. So I'm just going to move it over to the other side of the kitchen and I'll give you a closer look. Here it is, guys. I've just carefully taken it out of the air fryer and it's absolutely boiling hot. It's still sizzling. So I'm going to let this cool for around 10 minutes and then I'll cut into it, plate it up and give you a closer look. Okay guys, so my lasagna is fully done and I have just cut myself a nice piece. Just look at how beautiful that looks. It is beautiful and golden brown on the top. The cheese has all melted and it just looks absolutely delicious. I will also give you a close up of the actual dish that I cooked it in, just to show you how it is looking absolutely gorgeous so that's how easy it is to cook a lasagna in your air fryer it's super delicious really really yummy so please try it if you haven't already i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give this video a like comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next one take care guys bye